Hi there, so happy to have you. Now, Monday marked the third day of a very tense standoff between an Oregon militia and authorities as armed protesters continued to occupy a federal building there. The protest was sparked by the sentencing of two ranchers charged with arson, but it goes much deeper to concerns of the federal government controlling too much land. Our panel is back as Carly Shimkus, Camille Foster, and Gavin McInnes. So, Camille, I'm from the great state of Oregon. Things obviously operate differently out west. It is loosely populated. There's a lot more land, and the federal government manages, or I could say mismanages, an awful lot of it. That's right. You know, here you have two men who've already served time in prison, but this Department of Justice decided to go back and enforce mandatory minimums, yeah. sending them back to prison. Yeah, no, and, and these are the questions that we ought to be talking about. The, the, how long should you go to prison for setting a fire on your own land out of what seems to be genuine concern for the safety of that land? It's called the fire break. Yeah. There's, this, there's a way these things work. And they, they but, don't have fire departments yeah. in every tiny and municipality for most in people central are, and eastern Oregon. And for most people who are talking about this story, it's the exotic nature of the story. It's the yeah. fact that these guys have guns and they're marching yeah. around with guns. Civil rights activists in the 1960s and 70s would show up with guns at some of their protests. Occasionally you need those things, but having a gun at a protest does not undermine your cause or the justice or the rightness of that cause. Yeah. I, I can accept that this is complicated, but we can certainly have a conversation about how much land the federal government should be controlling yeah. out there. Why isn't it a local government? Why isn't it private individuals who are controlling that land and the way in which we all maintain that sort of thing? You know, yeah. one of the things that's really frustrating in California, where I've also lived for the better part of 25 years, is, uh, you know, the government impedes progress as far as moving out uh, old logs and timber, and then you've got brush fryers, because yeah. that stuff just sit around, sits around baking in the sun for years. There's a conflagration, conflagration and then uh, once it finally rains, there are mudslides. I mean, it's, it's horrible mismanagement of land year after year after year. What do you think? Well, they call this an Indian reserve, and then they pretended it was really about birds and how th th we need to preserve this land for birds. The birds preferred the ranchers' land something like 10 to 1 to the pathetic mess that the government had made of this land. Yeah. But what disturbs me is people's reactions. They go, these guys are just a bunch of racist redneck thugs and they should do a drone strike on them. Or, you know, you get mad when we burn down a CVS in Ferguson, you don't get mad at these guys. What are you, racist? And you go, this has got nothing to do with Ferguson. Yeah. And if you, I don't understand why people don't care. This is a perfect example of Americana. Yeah. These guys have formed a militia. Yes, what they're doing is illegal. And yes, they're heroes. The two are not mutually exclusive. Look into it. This is the government botching land, screwing up land, pushing out ranchers. The last family said, all right, we're drawing a line in the sand. You're not doing this anymore. The Bundys came in to help. And everyone's, at least the mainstream media's the less reaction is, I don't know, they seem kind of fat and they have guns. I don't like those kind of but people. But they also call them terrorists. I mean, I, I take exception to that because yes. the federal government has been mismanaging this land. And Camille's absolutely right. There should be some sort of private influence where you can have logging and and mining and clearance. Absolutely. Well, first of all, people on social media trending hashtag last night, y'all Qaeda. I mean, come on. And they're, they're, wow. yeah. they're, they're, they're calling these people terrorists and then insulting them even more on top of that. And you are absolutely right. These ranchers have a very legitimate reason to be upset. The federal government owns a lot of land in the West. Yeah. And they're cl it's clearly not being used for the ranchers' needs. I mean, these are people that really need this land. And let's not forget Clive and Bundy in 2014. The reason he couldn't use that land was because they were protecting the federal government, was pre protecting this desert tortoise. Yeah. So I could completely understand why they are angry and acting out, although it, what they are doing is also very dangerous. I mean, loose cannon, so you don't know what's going to yeah, happen. You've got the spotted owl, you've got the delta smelt, you've got so many animals for which um, civilization has been thwarted, and oftentimes those little animals are delicious. <laughs> 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 the panel returns.